realize this game started, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, a venue-wide discussion about whether or not uh, Beerus is a cat, jackal, or dog is happening right now. However, Zoo is the only one who thinks he's a dog. Um, well, yeah, I think it's a jackal, personally. Um, and since that's the only opinion you're hearing on stream, I guess everyone here is going to be pretty biased towards that. Or maybe not, since I said that. Um, anyways, um, you know, uh, I think, uh, yeah, Zoo going Captain Falcon and Bronze going Robin. Um, yeah, these two, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know how to put it. Um, they're definitely playing for money, but I think they're trying to have fun right now. If, yeah, if that makes sense. Um, you know, uh, these two definitely, um, play each other a lot at the grid. Uh, maybe not in general, but yeah. Oh, wow, the get-up attack taking that stock. Wow. Anyways, um, I didn't catch much of that set, so uh, I don't have too much to say about that match. I, I think he's a jackal because he's based off Anubis. Cat? No way. No way he's a cat. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, Robin and... I wonder who Zoo is going. Luigi? It's Albert Luigi. Captain Falcon again. Alright. Alright, um, another discussion on how Goku is the worst and does not care about the Earth, which is probably, you know, true considering, uh, considering, well, okay, I don't want to say spoilers, but yeah, uh, a whole Earth dice. Anyways, um, uh, you know, alright, Zoo, uh, and, uh, Bronze, not just playing right now, Bronze, uh, taunting, um, and catching a Zoo. Um, yeah, uh, Bronze, you know, getting a respectable lead. Um, Robin can actually be uh, pretty great in the air uh, if you're spacing properly. Um, because, uh, you know, uh, obviously his 11 sword, I think it's called. Um, yeah, he's just wonderful in the air. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, kind of similar to uh, Raster, I guess, for those rivals people. You know, just... Um, Getting strong, fast hits mid-air. Very good. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing much of Robin's like signature combos, but you know, I, I think Bronze is just, you know, playing Robin to have, you know, a fun time. I, I, I'm not sure how much time he spent in the lab, um, but yeah. Uh, all right, Robin's uh, spell book is gone right now. So maybe looking to get. Uh, get some good stuff off of that, but, uh, nah. Uh, Bronze, you know, taking stuff properly, um, you know, doing really well. Zoo getting the, uh, Raptor boost. And I am, I'm having <laughs> a really trouble commentating this, then. Maybe it's too many levels above me. I don't think so. Um, I think it's just um, th there's such a interesting conversation going on. All right, uh, now we're discussing how Boo was irrelevant for a while. Um, anyways, um, yeah, Zoo trying to go for those spikes, but uh, Ron's saying no. Uh, no spikes for you. Yep. 
Franz, uh, using his spell book um, pretty liberally. I don't know if that's uh, that great for Robin because you really want to keep your stuff and even his Leaven Sword is a bit low right now. So, yeah. Um, Alright, Leaven Sword's gone. Maybe Zoo wants to, you know, utilize that in the air and stuff, but luckily for Bronze, uh, he can camp on the Smashable platform on the outside for a bit. Um, and Zoo getting a back air right there. Um, uh, keeping Robin, you know, off from center stage, I think. Uh, and wow, Zoo doing some wonky stuff right there with his uh, back air. Did Bronze just win? <laughs> Did Bronze just win? Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, go on. Alright, Bronze going Pikachu into Zoo's Dark. <laughs> Alright, I haven't seen Bronze's Pikachu. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. And Zoo going Marth. Okay, Marth. All right, all right. Okay, Lucina, I don't... Okay, Zoo tried to secondary Lucina for a bit, but he's definitely not... She's She is definitely not one of his best characters at all. Or, okay, that, that's that, that's a weird way to say it. Because a lot of Zoo's characters are pretty good. It's just like, Lucina's not top tier. Lucina's like high tier in his list of characters. So, Zoo, like, do you want to win? Well, I guess... I guess he's playing for fun, which is fine. I mean, yeah. Um, Zoo has not been playing Smash as much recently, so that's fine. Um, but yeah. Uh, having a fun time. Anyways, uh, oh, Ron's getting a uh, Thunder right there. Pretty cheeky, I'd say. Um, but yeah, Zoo not. Zoo getting, you know, hit by it. Um, yep. Uh, but Zoo also showing some good stuff with his Lucina. Um, and wow! Uh, Ron's not letting go to punish. You, even, Zoo even screamed, why don't, you, why don't you let go? And, you know, uh, Bronze gets an up smash punish off of it. Pikachu's up smash is actually surprisingly fast, so you, you can get uh, unexpectedly punished out of some crazy things sometimes. You know, some... Actually, up smash even combos into thunder sometimes, which is like ridiculous, I think. But uh, I mean, yeah, Pikachu is like the one of the like most technical combo characters. Like, you know, I, I guess it's fine. Like, you're you're not gonna do like the best with Pikachu without like getting at least your bread and butter combos, which you know, Bronze has been getting, uh, which is pretty good. <laughs> Zeus screaming a jump at Bronze, trying, and you know Bronze, you know jumping up, and uh, yeah, not not much happened. <laughs> uh, Bronze probably going uh, for the rar thunder, but uh, not quite there the execution. Um, and yeah, Bronze probably expecting anything but the roll right there. Let's him get by. Um. And it's really going for some weird stuff. Questionable. But, you know, it's fine, I guess. Side <laughs> from Pikachu. Okay, Bronze. What, what's up? Um. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't want to damage you. <laughs> Bronze, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, Zoo going like try hard mode. I think with his box. Is he trying to make this tournament even longer? Okay, okay, okay. You know, Zoo Zoo has a chance of winning. 
I'm not saying he doesn't, but like bronze is pretty good. Bronze is pretty good. You know? Okay, okay, that's that's really negative idea. Uh, let's go Zoo, going with his uh main box. Uh, you know, with his back to the. Okay, I forget what that's saying. Um, yeah. Zeus Fox, uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, actually really good, I'd say. I think one of his best mains. Um, uh, by the way, Zoo has mained many a character in his time. Like, it's ridiculous, actually. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people have a lot of mains, but like, Zoo has a lot. And he, he changes quite frequently, too. Um, but yeah. Fox, uh, one of his boys, I'd say. Um, yeah. Uh, but Fo even Fox having a bit of trouble getting into Pikachu. Um, which, uh, is understandable because, like, Pikachu is, Pikachu's combo game is, like, insanely good if you're good at it. Um, so, like, Fox, it's really hard to get out of Pikachu's combo with Fox. Like, um, yeah, Zoo is probably, or could be, in for a rough time. Wow, that thunder. I thought he was going to get hit by it, but air dodge there? Smart. Um, and yeah, Zoo firing himself up, looking like light over here with the uh, fire top. Anyways, uh, all right, all right, all right, maybe not looking quite like that. But, hey. <laughs> and wow. Bronze getting a nice, uh, nice punish right there on the side B. No, to, to, uh, sometimes, okay, a lot of Fox mains have a tendency to use side B, which is fine a lot of the time, but, like, people start to predict it. And you die. And back air, is that? No. Alright, premature comment there. And down air, taking it. Downer is actually surprisingly strong off stage. It's like insane, actually. Um, like, yeah. Um, yeah. If anyone here watches like ESM sets or has watched ESM sets, like you'll you'll see it sometimes. Like, you know, just like downer. Like, when people ridiculously really. I guess that's the same with like any off stage, uh, any off stage option. You know, from a lot of characters. But like, I, I think it's like something to do with the knockback. But like, people travel insanely far. But, yeah, it doesn't matter a lot of the time. Wow. Zoo, get, Zoo getting caught by the forward smash twice. Looking rough, but, uh, you know, the Pikachu front smash doesn't quite cover beneath the stage that far. Um, so, Zoo getting a setup into the up air right there. It's tough. Um, good stuff. Ooh, okay, what is... What was the match count? 2-2, two, two, I think. Hmm. Are we in for a bracket reset? Let's go. Let's go, Zoo. Let's go, Bronze. Bronze looking a bit tired, maybe. Is he blinking? You know, a lot of, a lot of people uh, don't blink a lot, which, you know, understandable, because uh, fighting games 60 frames per second, almost every one of them can matter. It's like... You know, if you're playing chess and like you make you do you do one turn every every sixtieth of a second and you blink and you like are blind for two of the turns and have no idea what happened. Yeah, that's like that can be rough sometimes. Yeah, blinking blinking is actually pretty can be can be pretty bad. But also not blinking is pretty bad for your eyes. Um uh, Bronze maybe looking for something like a down air or a forward air off stage. Wow, Thunder actually eating away at shield a lot, but Zoo just keeping his distance. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. Crossing up Zoo. Um, <laughs> Zoo. Uh, you know, <laughs> bit rough, but yeah. Um, quite unexpected for Zoo, probably. Um, which is, you know, understandable. But yeah, Bron Bronze actually does a great job of playing non-linearly. I don't, I don't know if that's good. being non-linear in his uh, neutral game, which is really great in Smash because you know Smash, like 
like you're seeing right now, like half the time can be spent in neutral, unlike like a lot of other fighting games, which is like spent you know, pressuring stuff. Um, yeah, if you're, you know, neutral game can get really predictable at times. Um, so you know, really mixing it up, it, it's great. Um, and Brown's doing a great job. Um, you know. Uh, I mean, Bronze definitely has spots to improve on too. Uh, I think his combo game could definitely be improved. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on his spacing. He, he seems to be doing fine. So what I'm saying is um, yeah. Um, and Zoo. Um, alright, Zoo can, I guess, you know, sometimes lack the reads, lack the, and lack a bit of respect during some matches too. Um, uh, you know, not 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 the uh, not how, how to put it. You know, respect in the sense that you're not like facing safely sometimes. I guess. Um, yeah. And, but you know, I, I mean that can lead to some weird stuff like that, which is fine. I mean, and that's fine to do with Fox, but it it kind of translates to a lot of his other characters. I, I guess that's actually a bit of a problem in the CT scene, actually. A lot of people are just over-aggressive in Smash Bros. It makes it fun, but, like, you're not winning that consistently. And, wow. That up smash takes it. Yeah, good stuff from Zoo. That's a bracket reset, I think. No, both players. Both players going losers. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zoo coming in with bracket reset. Um, momentum is swinging heavily in his favor. I think he won like three straight games right now. Um, let's see if Zoo can make something out of this or if Bronze is gonna, you know, shut him down. You know, um, a, lot, a lot of times, you know, people, uh, people kind of actually get a bit cocky at these times. So, you know, you, you really want to keep your cool, uh, keep your game plan. You know, um, okay, maybe not stick with what works, but like, you know, learn from each game. Uh, don't be like, wow, this guy's free. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, Zoo has a lot of respect for Bronze, as they've definitely met in Grands a lot, and I'm pretty sure they've like taken. I'm pretty sure they've both beat each other. They're great rivals, I think, right now. Um, and wow, great tech from Zoo. Um, good stuff, expecting, you know, Pikachu to use that down air. Uh, Bronze has been doing that quite frequently, so, oh, wow, Bronze. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> a lot of stuff happened there. Um, but yeah, Bronze has been going off stage quite frequently, so Zoo actually managing to expect a lot of stuff. Uh, and then, um, Bronze actually kind of messing up Pikachu's recovery, which can, it can, Pikachu's recovery can be pretty hard to actually execute at times. So it's understandable. Um, however, I, I think, you know, that, that, that was doable. Oh, wow. Bronze trying to go for a down air, but I think just completely messing it up. I think Dast fell that one. Um, I'm not sure what his controls are, but if he tried to do it with the sick, that can sometimes kill you with Pikachu. Pikachu can fall surprisingly fast at times. Right. Um, you know, both of these characters really fast, so um, games can be quite hectic at times. Um, so yeah, it's how to put it. If you're playing a rhythm game, this is like playing on like like super, you know, super high difficulty rather than like you know quick because like you're making like. Let's say you're playing Cloud. You're making like maybe two decisions a second, whereas these characters you can make up to like six or seven or eight decisions per second. You know, um, using every move. I mean, obviously you're. That was some crazy stuff from Zoo right there. Um, anyways, uh, 
these characters, uh, you really, if you want to play well, you want to uh, fine tune like all of your options. I mean, a lot of people will uh, still go with like, uh, like a few aggressive, a few defensive, and stuff like that. But like, if you want to do really well, you want to be like switching stuff up all the time, um, which makes uh, it really hard to optimize these characters sometimes. Um, I mean, I, I guess Fox. Um, might be an exception to that where you can go like almost all aggressive and like, you know, Fox is kind of built for that. I mean, you know, uh, like you're saying, uh, dude, just uh, weaving in and out of the uh, uh, red zone of Pikachu. Uh, and, you know, Pikachu throws maybe something a bit unsafe out and, you know, Fox is just bam there. And Pika's dead. Um, yeah. Uh, however, um, if, you know, if Fox isn't managing to, like, avoid Pikachu at all times, Pikachu's combos are, like, really devastating. Um, uh, I mean, while I, while I say that, uh, Bronze hasn't been able to, um, find, um, you know, uh, great combos yet. Uh, at least on this stock. Um, which is, uh, you know, uh, definitely something he wants to look for. Um, because Pikachu, I mean, yeah, you can play play him like a fast smash attack spammer, I guess. No! Well, kinda. Um, I'm just saying you're using smash attacks frequently. Uh, but yeah. Uh, um, but um, yeah, Pikachu, you know, you really want to find those, you know, long strings with Pikachu, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, I don't think Bronze is like down throwing that much either. Um, uh, which you know, great combo tool, uh, great combo tool for uh, uh for uh, Pikachu. Um, okay, also, I guess I should take back my previous statement about uh, Bronze being a spammer. He is actually uh, reading a lot of his options, but I'm just saying there are many other options that are as good or even better for Pikachu compared to a smash attack. You know, uh, a smash attack for Pikachu is like 12%, whereas a combo for Pikachu is like 30 to 50%. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah, alright, <laughs> Pikachu utilizing his signature up tilts. Um, uh, I don't know if Fox can- I don't think Fox can escape that one. I think at the beginning, Fox can actually, like, uh, DI down and land and shield. Um, kind of similar to, um, I, I don't know, there, there's some other character you can do that with. I forget. Oh, yeah, kind of like a Cloud's down throw. Yeah. Um, uh, but, um, uh, once you get past, like, 10%, Pikachu's combos are, like, really hard to get out of with any fast volley. Um, yeah. Uh, but Bronze keeping a good lead, but, um, oh, let's see how this goes. Also, um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how the stage selection is going, but, um, I think Bronze, uh, Pikachu really likes, yeah, but, um, uh, I, I, Pikachu really likes platforms. Um, I mean, I guess Fox too. I mean, Fox kills really early on platforms, but, like, uh, Pikachu can get people to like 60-70% like for free on the stage of platforms. So, um, yeah. Uh, may maybe uh, something for consideration. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, Bronze getting a jab jab up smash. Um, dude. No, dies. <laughs> um, yeah, Pikachu quite light. Um, and, uh, kind of similar to Sheik in this regard, um, you know, can have trouble killing sometimes. I mean, you know, Bronze, uh, get, sailing out stocks very well with Pikachu. Um, you know, uh, you know, his smash attack, um, like the frequent usage, it's actually pretty good for sailing out stocks. So yeah, that's fine. Um, but, uh, you know, just throwing them out isn't <laughs> that great either in neutral. Especially against Fox, like, it has so many fast options. Um, so unless it's for a punish or like, Cover, uh, like covering a like tech or something. Um, Pikachu smash attacks can be kind of lackluster. Uh, 
especially because um you can just smash attacks. Uh, all right, down smash is re well. Bronze uh, doesn't use use down smash, but um, down smash can have some like really wacky things where it doesn't like kill. Um, and uh, up smash, uh, if you're not getting the right hitboxes, it's just not gonna kill. Um, yeah. And Fox um, is like constantly in your face and moving around you, so um, it's actually quite hard to get those um, good hitboxes in. You know, uh, if this were say like Roy or Lucina, I'd, I'd see um, Bronze getting more like uh, stock sealers, but uh, not quite happening for this one. Um, a good awareness of that um, uh, threat behind him, uh, shielding. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, when, when people are, like, all around you, sometimes it's just smart to go into shield. I mean, they can obviously grab you, but, um, you know, a lot of times they're just gonna be up in your face and, like, you know, pressuring you. Uh, anyways, uh, Zoo sealing it out with, uh, up air. I'm getting the reverse... Yeah, reverse 6-0. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, well, uh... Those of you who uh, came to watch uh, GVS on stream or on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. Um, oh, yo, winner interview?